Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you today? <laughs> oh my gosh, so there's this song that I used to sing to Miss Peanut every day. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I just make sure everything was good with husband because I didn't know what he was doing. But anyway, there's this song that he sang for Miss Peanut when she would, you know, wake up. And so I sang it to her yesterday and she actually remembered the words. I guess I sang it a little too much. <laughs> too many times, you know, too many years. But um, so yeah, so I used to sing that to her. And uh, you know, she would sing and you know. So oh Lord, I don't know why it's so foggy this morning. Hold on. Part of it is the grayness outside, and it's darker in here. But anyway, so yeah, so you sing this song to her, and she would just laugh and giggle, and oh, I got 23 minutes. I cannot be late today, because my boss is already there. So, we are not going to get, um, we're not going to get breakfast. Turkey's in the road, turkey's in the road, get out the way, get out the way. <laughs> Um, not going to get breakfast, but I am going to get a coffee. Uh, I'm just going to go to the gas station, the one I used to go to, um, and get me a coffee because I am thirsty. Well, not thirsty, but I'm just like in the need of a coffee. So, oh wait, I didn't know how exhausted I was. Do you guys ever get to a point of being exhausted? Part of it. I believe is the news. The news is weighing me down, weighing me down, weighing me down. So y'all, we have been having some serious violence going on. I think, I think I recorded the video. Then again, I'm not sure if I scrapped it. But anyway, what I was telling you guys about the stuff that was going on here, um, I think I told you, but if not, I'm just gonna reiterate. So. At the time of that recording, we had two innocent babies, two innocent babies shot in the head, fighting for life. I believe the day that I recorded that, we got our third victim because of senseless gun violence. And so the third victim was only six years old. Lord have mercy, Jesus. So we had a six-year-old. The nine-year-old is actually eight, but will be nine. And then there's a 10-year-old boy. So it was two girls and one boy. Um, the boy and the youngest baby, they were in their parents' vehicle caught in the crossfire. The, the middle child, the first girl, she was at a birthday party. Y'all playing on a trampoline. I mean, not doing nothing to nobody. So, and it's kind of like in a certain area of my city, and it's just driving me insane. Well, anyway, the six-year-old passed away yesterday, and my heart has been so heavy, because I'm just like, Lord have mercy, and I just, I keep reading the news. I won't watch it unless I'm at my parents' house or my in-laws, but I keep reading it, and I think it's just it's becoming to be too much for me because it's just like are you serious are you kidding me <sighs> so i just for those who will please pray for the families who are victims of gun violence i mean seriously because these babies didn't deserve this y'all when they i did see the news conference or what a uh, vigil of the mom of the six-year-old and she was just crying and crying she said my baby didn't deserve this and then her grandfather is a well-known to our city um crime activist you know he likes to be out there you know as they say boots on the ground talking with individuals and you know trying to get them on the straight and narrow and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> um he is like devastated which i mean any parent, grandparent, cousin, whatever would be. You know what I'm saying? But um, he was like, you got 24 hours, turn yourself in. I was like, Lord have mercy. So my my heart is heavy. But, you know, my heart is heavy for the families. And then I feel a bit of selfishness. Because 
my child is safe. You know what I mean? And I don't want nothing to happen to my kids. You know, my my daughters, my grandson, my son in law. I don't want nothing to happen. None of my, my babies. You know, and so I feel I feel a bit selfish saying that. I just I pray covering over my city, over these babies, you know, going to school and man, it's like this pandemic really mess some people up you know what i mean i mean there's more violence now than i feel like there was before so i just i pray for all of our babies because you just never know you just never know i mean because crime can happen anywhere first and foremost it can happen in the suburbs like where i'm at now or in the rural area where i was saturday but it is just it's heightened in the city and it's just driving me insane so I'm glad I got that out. I'm glad I got that out because I think that's why I was so exhausted yesterday because I, back to being exhausted, <laughs> we had dinner and y'all, husband and I watched a movie. It was date night. Yes, date night. It was so wonderful. And then I passed out sleep like I'm out. As soon as that movie was over, mm -mm, I was gone. I mean gone. I was asleep. So... I don't know. I just, I think the weight of the world is just, I don't want to say it's on my shoulders, but man. Because I'm sorry, when one mother grieves, all mothers grieve. Seriously. Gosh, where can I park? Mm. Oh, I haven't been here since mama was here. Seriously. Well, no, I did it back. I came the other day because I got gas, but I didn't go inside. So I haven't been here since since then. But let me put a pin in y'all and I'll be right back. I'm back, y'all. So the person who took over this place, they didn't recognize who I was, which is a good thing. But I see they haven't changed their ways, which is a bad thing. But anyway... <sighs> took me a minute because I had to find um I had to find the lids that had um the closure because they only had one spot where you can get the the lids with the um closure close up the spout. I might like, look. I need me some coffee. I don't want to be spilling it in my car. Ooh. So anyway, anyhow. I gotta contact Miss Peanut's um, hairdresser, cancel her appointment for this weekend, and see if I can get her in for the following, what within two weeks, because um, I just don't want to pay to get her hair done, and then have to turn around and pay to get her hair done again. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I want to let me take a sip of this coffee because I might need more sugar. I don't know. I was trying to hurry up. I got oh, I got 11 minutes. Y'all got fly. Mm. Yep, it's made just right. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Yeah, but see, it has a little... Oh. has a little top thing. So, one, it keeps it hot, but two, it keeps it from spilling in the car. But I grabbed me a, a napkin just in case. And I got my bleach wipes just in case. I mean, I don't plan to be driving all crazy willy-nilly. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. But yeah, that dude, he's such a jerk. Such a jerk. And you know, this place has reward cards, so like you can get uh you actually can get points and get free stuff, right? I left well, yeah, I left my phone in the car and I left my rewards card in the car too. He was like, Oh, well you want this and you can nope. And he was on the phone. How unprofessional. You know, uh oh, hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't even. I'm gonna have to listen to the playback to see did the phone ring in the, in the um, in the video. I think it did. But anyway, so that was the school calling. Cause oh, let me tell you about this. So graduation is next week. We are one week from graduation. Oh my God. So yesterday, yeah, I'm hot. Yesterday, um, I got a text message from Miss Peanut saying, Mom. My teacher needs baby pictures for me for graduation. I was like, okay. 
So you know me. I am that mom, okay? So I went and I'm pulling pictures. And I'm like, okay, well, I got to get her birth picture. And then I got to get the picture of, you know, Miss Pina and friends. And then I got to get the picture when she first wore ponytails. And, and then I got a cute picture of when she was um, outside uh, with her dad. But I, it was just a picture just of her. She's sitting in the grass, minding her own business. Now, y'all wouldn't believe it today because, uh, you know, Miss Pina don't do nothing with no bugs and grass. But anyway... So I said, well, I got to find, you know, some cute little pictures. So at first I was finding pictures where she was like a big, big girl. But I was like, I want more baby pictures. So anyway, so I found a couple and, uh, you know, to send to the school. So I did that. Then we get this big email, right, from the school. And they're talking about, you know, graduation is going to be outside unless it rains. If it rains, each family only gets four tickets. Four now I know what the high schools are feeling like. Because I'm like, who do you choose for your four? You know what I mean? So, um, so I'm like, okay. So, I, I don't, I just, I don't know. If it's outside, everybody can come. If it's inside, you know. So then they said, last day of classes is next Wednesday the 26th. Same day I get my second, ooh, ooh. Anyway, zombie apocalypse or whatever you call it. Anyway. <laughs> Um, and then they said on Thursday they have rehearsal. All students have to be in uniform. Hold the phone, pause. Okay, wait, what 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 was that? Long email, all this other stuff, but then Thursday, 7:30 a.m., all eighth graders are to be in uniform. You mean the same uniform that I bought last year for her to wear only six weeks? And then she never wore it again. That uniform, y'all, I like to lost my everlasting mind. I hit that principal up so fast. I said, um, can there be an exception? He was like, what? I said, you do know these babies been quarantining. And I mean, because us adults ain't the only ones who pack on some, you know, extra little quarantine, you know, cookies. So... I said, her pants definitely don't fit. I said, and honestly, because she's been quarantined or housebound or whatever, I don't know what size she wear. Let me tell you, when it came for Christmas, everything I bought was stretched except for one thing. And then I was praying that it fit, and it did. And then I was shocked by the size because I'm like, wait a minute, you know. And my baby's tall. So, I'm, oh, my God, y'all. So, I told her, I said, look, I, I don't know. To, I'm not buying. I told him flat out. I'm not going to buy no $36, $40 pants, $39 sweater for her for, what, two and a half days, two and a half hours, one day? Because they don't have to wear it for, for graduation, but they got to wear it for rehearsal. And I'm just like, are you serious? Oh, my God, I'm going to be late. Oh, my God, I'm coming. Uh, I'm almost there. I got a couple stop signs. I'm there. Get my way. Get my way. Get my way. My boss is already there, y'all. I'm only here checking my time. But anyway, especially since I got to leave early today. So back to the phone call. So that was the school calling me, letting me know that they have been pulling some uniforms and they wanted to know, could I bring her in or um, do they just want me to pack up some stuff and then just see if it fit? And I said, oh, no, I can bring her in. Oh, I can bring her in. So I have to leave at 345 today. Lord, I got two minutes to walk through that door. Minute and a half. Um, so I have to leave at 3.45 today, pick her up and get there by 4, because the lady says she leaves at 5. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get there as soon as I can, you know, especially with all the streets being all blocked and stuff, y'all. So then I had to hang up with the school, call Miss Pina and say, hey, I know you got this, this, and this today, but I'm going to need you to squeeze in this and then do this and be ready so we can go. She's like, okay, mom. So, yeah, y'all, Jesus came in there to cross. Thank God we go on vacation after this. I can't even imagine high school graduation. And I don't know if I ever told you guys, but baby girls, high school stuff was a lot different. So this is like all new to me, you know. I mean, we had eighth grade graduation with her, but when it came to high school, it was totally different. She, you know, baby girl wasn't living with me at that time. So, oh my God. So I can only imagine what seniors go through because this is like 
brand new, me going through it all by myself. Why would you park where I normally park? Mm. Well, I guess I'm parking right here today because I don't want to be parked next to people. <sighs> Lord. Anyway. Well, y'all have a great day. I just had to tell you about the goings on. But now you see why I'm tired. And I got to go and do a tablescape at my mama's um, today. Uh, yeah, I got a tablescape to do at mama's house to help prepare for sale. So I'll be doing that this evening. I might record it. I might not. I don't know. It all depends because, you know, be a lot of talking going on. I don't want to do no voiceover. So anyway, have a great day. See you on a new video. Have a thankful Thursday. Bye.